what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video so as we all know a three-team trade just went down damon lillard is headed to the milwaukee bucks of course this involved the bucks the suns and of course the blazers uh the suns were involved in this by trading away deandre aiden for nurkic grace now and Nasir little and keon johnson i haven't done a suns rebuild yet in 2k24 so here we are today to go ahead and do this new look phoenix suns rebuild before we get into today's video make sure you guys drop a like in this one and subscribe if you are new to this channel but really quickly we did reach 40,000 subs so thank you guys so much for that thank you for your continued support man i remember like it was yesterday when i first started youtube uh, in my mom's room in high school talking on a beats microphone on my playstation 4 editing with share factory and to think we've come this far is absolutely insane so thank you guys so much for your continued support uh it is forever uh appreciate thank you guys and i can't thank you all enough basically uh but if you are new around here hit that sub button obviously we're far from satisfied the next goal is 50k we'll reach it eventually but obviously i'm just very satisfied or very very grateful for the 40,000 subs also we are doing a phoenix suns rebuild first i think doing the blazers side of thing would be more interesting but obviously the biggest thing here is when is your holiday going to be traded it sounds like they're going to do it pretty quickly from what most people are saying so that's why I didn't want to really do a Blazers rebuild and then Drew Holiday's traded and then I did the wrong trade in the video. So I'm hoping that the Drew Holiday trade happens very soon, maybe uh, later tonight and then I can have the video out tomorrow or tonight. I don't know. Or maybe uh, this the trade happens before you guys see this video and maybe I'll push this video out another day because I don't think the sun side of thing will change our sun side of things will change at all. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Regardless, we're doing the Phoenix Suns side of this uh, trade. So the Phoenix Suns currently right now after this trade have 17 players on their roster. I'm not sure who they're going to cut, uh, but 2K by default automatically cut away Watanabe and Damian Lee. I don't know if that's what they would do. To me, if I had to guess, I think Jake Fisher hinted at this yesterday as well in his article that they'd probably cut Keon Johnson, which I think would make a lot of sense. And also uh, Ish Wainwright. I don't know if that's or if that would be the case or not. We shall see. Uh, regardless, as we know, this is what your Phoenix Suns roster is like. Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Nurkic. Now, I've seen a lot of people be, uh, be kind of confused on why the Suns traded away Aiden for Nurkic. Honestly, I don't think they're the two are that different. I think they're kind of similar. I think Aiden's a little bit more of an upgrade in the off offensive end. As far as the defensive end is concerned, they're kind of right there, I believe, in my opinion. You may have a different opinion, but they're really not that far off, I think. So I think this saves the Suns a lot of money. And then maybe the attitude with Aiden, it was just too far gone. Who knows? Josh Okogie, Bull Bull, Eric Gordon. Uh, you guys get the rest of the roster, of course. So let's go take a look at what this rotation would look like according to 2K. So right now, we don't even really have a point guard in the roster because obviously Bradley Beal and Devin Booker are usually listed at the two guards. So I'm going to go ahead and move one of them to point guard. Booker has played point guard in his career before, so I'm going to move him to point guard. He only goes down one overall. Uh, so I think we can afford to have Booker move to the one. We'll uh, fix the secondary position here in a second. So this is what your starting five could look like. It's Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Josh Okogie, Kevin Durant, and Yusuf Nurkic. So I think that makes a ton of sense. With Bull Bull, I believe Bull Bull is listed at power forward, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. No, he's listed at center. I think I'm going to go ahead and move him to the four just because we have Drew Eubanks. So uh, Bull Bull will go down, but that's okay. Again, we'll fix secondary positions here in a second. So... Uh, you have something like this where, uh, you, you know, Eubanks, Bull Bull, Eric Gordon, Metu, and then Damian Lee. Now, honestly, I feel like Grace Nall is going to be guaranteed to get some minutes in this rotation. And I also wouldn't be surprised if Nasir Little got some minutes here as well. So I'm going to fix this to a 10 minute rotation. And we're going to uh, take out Metu and Damian Lee for Grace Nall and Nasir Little. Because I just feel like those are the two that would definitely get minutes. Nasir Little is a guy that I like. Unfortunately, the man just always seems to run into a problem where uh, he's, uh, you know, not healthy. It, it's mainly been injuries for him. He's always gotten hurt when he's starting to get things going. So I'm excited to see what he can do in Phoenix. And he's on a great contract as well. He's only making like $7 million per year for the next uh, four years, which is absolutely kind of a steal in my opinion. So and he's only like 23 still. So very good contract as well. But let's go in and just simulate year one. I kind of want to see what 2K thinks of the Suns roster after they went from Aiden to Nurkic and, of course, Grace Nallen and also Nasir Little. Keon Johnson and Ish Wainwright have been cut, uh, which is what I fixed. I brought back Wananabe and Damian Lee, which is why you don't see Keon Johnson or also uh, Ish Wainwright on the team anymore. But regardless, I will see you guys at the end of year one. Curious to see how things go. We shall, we shall see. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a player prop side that allows you to choose the overs or unders on the players you love watching. So basically, you just watch a game like normal and also make some picks and choose the overs or unders on the players like i said that you like watching so of course price picks is available on mobile or desktop and this is what it looks like when you get on the screen they pretty much have every sport you can imagine obviously we're still waiting on nba but right now the nfl is going on they have all kinds of stats you can imagine as well you choose between two to six players 
Two players is five times up to six players can be 25 times your money. Prize picks also matches your first deposit dollar for dollar up to $100. In order to sign up for prize picks, link is down in the description below. Use code CRUSHABLES to sign up. And a tool I'm using this year is DGF's fantasy optimizer tool and correlation tool. Basically, they do the math for you. You don't even really have to think about anything. All you have to do is just look at the interface. They'll have some picks for you, and you can go ahead and choose which ones are your favorite, choose the top ones, whatever you want to do. They do the math for you. They show you what's profitable long-term. So in order to sign up uh, for the DGF's correlation optimizer tool, link down in the description below. Use code CRUSHBOS when you sign up. Thank you to Prize Picks and DGF for sponsoring today's video. So at the end of the season, Giannis Antetokounmpo with his new teammate, Damian Lillard, does not stop him from winning MVP. Vic is your Rookie of the Year, Chris Paul, six-man. Giannis, also offensive player, Paul Reed, most approved, Edwards, clutch player. And Adrian Griffin with Damian Lillard over there, 62-20 and 20 on the season for them. So shout out to the Bucks. You got Giannis, uh, Luka, Jokic, LeBron, John Morant. You got Trey Young, uh, Joel B, Damian Lillard on the Bucks now. James Harden, Stephen Curry, all NBA third team, all defensive first team, and all defensive second team. So I wasn't even paying attention to see if we had any Suns here. I was really like just kind of glossing over Dame in Milwaukee now. Uh, we did have Devin Booker making an all NBA third team, which is cool. So other than that, uh, 2K has us finishing up or has the Suns finishing up as the sixth seed in the West. So uh, just like we did in the Damian Lillard Bucks rebuild yesterday, I kind of wanted to just see how things would go in year one without me doing anything and it results in a six seed appearance in the west so let's go ahead and see what the stats look like so we had 27 from devin booker 23 from durant 21 from bradley beal and then nine from nurkic with eight rebounds and then eight and a half from mcogee seven from bull bull seven from eric gordon and seven from grayson allen and then six from drew eubank so let's see how we do against the los angeles lakers in round one i'm curious to see if we can go far in the playoffs or not or if 2k thinks this team isn't good enough we shall see Somebody curve around against the Lakers. We win three to zero, and we are going to beat them in six. We can actually get out of round one. We're headed to round two against the Clippers. I actually want to make this a nine minute rotation as well. So let's just see how the rest of these playoffs go. We get the Clippers. They have Russ, Paul George, Powell, Kawhi, Zubosh, Mason Plumley, Ken Martin, Terrence Mann, and Marcus Morris. Somebody current round against them. And we are going to go down three to two. We did have an injury occur, but it was only, I think, to Eubanks, if I read that correctly. So Let's see if we can force a game seven back to Phoenix, and maybe we can find our way into the conference finals here. So close one here with the Clippers, and we are going to beat them to force a game seven. So here we go, a game seven back in Phoenix. Can we take care of business here to go to the conference finals in year number one? It's looking good so far. I think uh, we did it. I think we did it. Unless we blow the lead at the very end, which is possible, but we're not going to. We actually beat the Clippers. Bradley Beal drops 50 in that one, 18 to 25 from the field, needed all of that. Now I get to play the Golden State Warriors, who apparently might become a landing spot for Drew Holiday. So it would be funny if Chris Paul got traded again. I have my phone in front of me just in case the Drew Holiday trade does happen. That way I'm kind of aware of it. But again, I'm recording this video before anything like that has happened. I assume a Drew Holiday trade could happen today. I don't know that for a fact. We shall see. We have Steph, Clay, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond, Kevon Looney, Chris Paul, Kaminga, Gary Payton, and Dario Sarge. So let's see if we can beat the golden state warriors get to the final summon current round we're down three to two okay that was quick we could force another game seven here though we're in our at home for this game six it would be absolutely amazing we could find a way to force the game seven back to their uh the chase center i believe is what it's called and uh we got a close one six point lead to them with 55 seconds left it's looking like we're gonna fall short here wait a minute Ah, oh, we do 124 128 uh we got bam and oh so the heat even without dame still make it to the final so shout out to the heat and uh, the Warriors beat them in six. So, Stephen Curry, finals MVP, another ring for him. We fell, or we got all the way to the conference finals, but fell short to the Warriors. That's unfortunate. Retirements, LeBron James is going to retire after losing in round one. I don't think he'd hang it up after that, but maybe he would. Who knows? Eric Gordon retires the Sun. Let's go to the lottery, though. And let's see if... Uh, I don't think we're having any... We're not going to have any picks here, so I don't know why I'm worried about this. But our pick is going to go to... Actually, we do have the 21st overall pick, funny enough. Okay. I didn't even think we had a draft pick, but uh, that could actually come in handy. So Frank Vogel, of course, we're going to keep as the head coach. We just made it to the conference finals. So we're just going to fill this out a little bit, and then we should be ready to go. So uh, we got Desmond Mack. We'll sign both of these guys. And then uh, with this pick, I believe, obviously, we should be going forward with trying to... Obviously, we could add a rookie to this team in the new CBA. Rookie scale contracts are important. But uh, we do have... I mean, do we have any tradable salaries? We have Nasir Little for sure. Grayson Allen, is he a free agent? I thought he had another year in his deal. I guess I was wrong. So he is a free agent. I was thinking about combining Little and Grayson Allen's salaries together, but uh, that's not really an option anymore. Obviously, I could trade Bradley Beal, but I want to keep these four together if possible. 
Uh, I'm going to keep Nurkic on the team as well. So the only thing I could really do right now is trade little in this 21st overall pick. And then I do have a couple seconds as well. So maybe we look into that. We'll see. I'm going to throw a little in this 21st pick out there and see if anything pops up that's interesting. If not, I'll just draft with the 21st overall pick. I think the best thing for us is just go ahead and add some rookie scale contracts here. Try to hit on these draft picks. Worst case scenario, we can flip them later on. So number 21 in the draft, we have Mac on the board. We have Gary Dia. We have Riley. I think we have Nunez, Mikey Williams, Matthew Cleveland, Trayvon. We have uh, Dylan Mitchell. So there definitely is some interesting options here. I'm going to take the 6'8 power forward, 19 years old. We're going to take him with our pick out of Indiana. And then uh, early second round, we have uh, Matthew Cleveland. I'm going to take him. And then last but certainly not least, uh, we have Zach Eady, who I've heard about, but I don't know much. I don't know if he's that good, but I'm going to take him anyway. So Zach Eady, welcome to the team. 7'4 center. We'll take it. And then we have uh, Mac, who is a 72 Cleveland, and then Zach Eady. So I don't think we did too bad in the draft. I'll welcome all of them. Uh, qual our player options, a Kogi declines, Jordan Goodwin. I'm going to accept that one. Eubanks declines, and so does Keita Bates. Job qualifying offers you, Doka Azubuki is a free agent. I'm not really worried about either of these two, but as far as free agency is concerned, I mean, we have uh, no bird rights on anybody. Let's see what we can do. So we can bring like Josh Richardson, Gallinari. So our options are very, very thin, very thin. Like, uh, we're not going to be able to fill out a bench that greatly. So Jordan Goodwin right now had my, my, my had to be our backup point guard next year. He's 25, so might progress as well. Uh, we don't have a starting small forward at the moment. Nasir Little might have to be that, actually. And then Mac and then Nurkic and Zach Eady. So right now, I'm going to move Little to the three and see if he goes up. He actually stays the same, but I think he might have to start the three this year. He might even progress. So uh, I am not. I don't mind that. If Little can come in here and be our starting small forward next year, I don't hate it. I think it could work out. We'll see, though, if we can find a different option. Uh, so Karen Payne, former Phoenix Sun, could bring him back. But at least right now, I think we have a starting two guards so i'm, I'm kind of our starting ba our backup point guard sorry and then uh backup two so we have gary harris grace Allen, who was just here uh, i feel like we just signed grace Allen again i mean he was kind of just here anyway so uh we're gonna go ahead and give him a deal and then i think that's gonna be all it's gonna let me do i imagine so let's just see if i can get anybody else after i sign grace Allen. so okay we still signed someone else too great all right so i'm gonna also sign i feel like josh richardson would be a really good get i'm gonna sign josh richardson and uh, then we're going to have to be really thin at the big man spot. So back of five, Biggest Mac Biombo, former Phoenix Sun, will sign him. And I'll also see Nerlens Noel. I don't mind that either. So we're going to sign Nerlens Noel here. So not great whatsoever, uh, but we kind of knew that was going to be a issue when we went this offseason. Uncle Jeff Green, we can always go for that as well. So we'll go for that. And I think that might be all we can really do. So yeah the bench isn't gonna be looking that phenomenal i'm gonna move richardson to the three probably gonna go down an overall with the progression when it comes to uh when player progression comes around but right now it's not great bench sucks man it does uh obviously we could kind of make a trade to try to consolidate things maybe we trade away bradley beal wouldn't hate it but i also would love to keep him around if possible uh yeah getting we're just gonna have to get creative when we can so let's go to player progression and let's see what this is looking like this is where i'm curious to see how we could do uh so kevin Durant's down booker's down bradley bill's down and nurkic is down little's up to 78 that's great richardson 77 grayson allen and biombo yeah the rest of these guys are going down pretty quickly so i think we go to the last spot in the off season let's go to the 2k hoop uh hoop summit which obviously i'll never uh, click on or anything like that but i think we gotta try to make a trade i want to see if we can start to see a lot of the three but if i have to use this salary to like bring in someone else then maybe we have to I'd hate to do it because I really want to give him an opportunity. But right now, our bench, our depth sucks. It's like bad. So we may have to use this salary. So the first trade we're going to do this offseason is send Mac and Jordan Goodwin over to the Hornets for Nick Richards to go ahead and be our brand new back of five. It sucks to go ahead and do that, but we needed a back of five in the worst way possible. That's going to help our depth just a little bit. So here's what your bench is looking like now. So it's Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Josh Richardson, Kevin Durant, Nurkic, Nasir Little, Nick Richards, Grayson Allen, and Saban Lee right now is the last one getting a spot. So obviously, there's still a lot more work to do at the trade deadline, but I think getting Nick Richards as a back of five is a really good start. So proficiency, uh, four-star grit and grind right now. So I think we can go ahead and leave it at grit and grind. Uh, defensively, we would not be a four-star system. We'd only be a three. So I guess we'll leave it at grit and grind. Seemed to work out well last year when we went to the conference finals. So I'm going to uh, edit Frank Vogel to grit and grind. 
and then i will see you guys probably at the trade deadline to go ahead and fix our depth even further so the first trade we're going to do at the deadline to fix some of our depth is get jay sean tate it's not pretty it's not perfect but we're getting isaiah livers as well who's also 75 trading ed business biombo and saving lead in order to get this done so sacramento gets a young prospect and we get some more depth which was very much needed so the depth looks just a little bit better with livers and jay sean tate coming over I almost wonder if I should upgrade from Nurkic. He's averaging 12 and 10 and a block, though. He's actually having a really good season for the most part. Uh, but it is very... Or we could upgrade the small four spot as well if we wanted to go that route. I still want to make another trade here. I don't want to just settle on this. Right now, we're only 25 and 25 on the season. So, yeah. 2K isn't very fun, this roster, for the most part. I still don't want to trade like Bradley Beal or Booker or Durant, obviously. Uh, I want to try to keep these three. But it could make some sense to trade Bradley Beal. But I'm going to try not to. I want to just try to upgrade the small forward spot. I don't even know if that's going to really be possible, but I want to make one more trade here just to kind of solidify our rotation and uh, just kind of give us give ourselves the best chance to go win a championship. I feel like the only tradable salary I really have left is Nurkic. I wanted to try to keep him on the team. He's having a pretty solid season, but I'm trying to get Gafford and Corey Kispert over from the Washington Wizards. Now, the problem with that is I'm not sure why the Wizards truly do this. I feel like we're going to have to trade some of those pick swaps like uh this magic pick swap that uh the suns got in a trade i forgot which trade they did i forgot what they did to get these swaps but regardless Nurkic in a pick swap for gafford and Corey kiss would give us some really really good depth we obviously kind of lose uh two overall points by getting gafford from Nurkic, but getting kisper as a consolidation piece i think feels really good so they are going to counter with another pick swap and they'll give me a second I honestly feel like we have to go all in here. It sucks to give up two pick swaps for this, but in my opinion, I think we have to do it. So we're going to go ahead and do this trade. And we all know the Phoenix Suns are super aggressive. Matt Ishbia is uh, pretty crazy. So I would not put it past him to do something like this. So now the depth is going to be so much better. We definitely move on from Nurkic. We get Gafford instead. We have Corey Kispert off the bench, which is a great shooter. Josh Rusin, Nick Richards, Jay Sean Tate, and then you have Grayson Allen and Livers Noel. Like the depth just looks nine times better after doing that trade so i feel really good about that now kispert is only listed at what's he listed as yeah listed as he's listed as small forward so not be surprised at all if he ends up starting this year he's shooting 46 percent from three so little could definitely lose his spot uh he's only shooting 34 percent but i feel good about those two trades we made let's go see if that results in a championship or not i wanted to keep nurkic on the team but unfortunately i feel like our best chance to win a championship is i had to trade him away and get something that helped our depth at the end of year two Joel Embiid wins mvp wagner rookie of the year on the timberwolves amin thompson six man for the rockets Giannis defensive player Peyton pritchard most improved edwards clutch player of the year and nick nurse is your coach of the year so uh Joel Embiid, luca Jokic, damian lowered and Giannis both making all bay first team love to see it all be second team do we have any phoenix suns here uh no no phoenix suns at all interesting unless we had yeah no that's pretty interesting to me all defensive first team and all defensive second team and all rookie first team and all rookie second team so we are the 15 in the west we get to play the team that eliminated us in the conference finals last year so this should be an interesting matchup we had 27 from booker 25 from durant 20 and a half from bradley beal 10 and 9 from gaffer with almost two blocks as well so kind of similar stats what nurkers was putting up for us Corey kisper with nine eight from little and then eight from richardson seven from tate and then six from nick richards and then five from grayson allen so Hopefully, this could cash us in on a championship this year. We play the Warriors, as I said, in round one. They have Russell Westbrook instead of Chris Paul now, which is pretty interesting, to say the least. So, no more Chris Paul instead of Russell Westbrook. Here goes nothing. Game one, we are going to go up 1-0, 132-106. to We had 33 from Durant, 24 from Booker, and 22 from Beal, 16-7 from Gafford. Game two, they even it up. Game three, this will be a big one, and we're up 2-1. to 3-1, to we look really good, just saying. We're going to go to a game five. This is a huge game five. I feel like if we could beat the Warriors... We can be in a really good spot. So they still want to start Josh Richardson. Corey Kispert, still not someone they want to start, but having him as a six man is fine, in my opinion. So here we are for a huge game five. If you win this one, majority of the time you win the series. So we need to go out here and win this game five. So close game relatively. It's at the Chase Center. It's looking good for us. Unless we blow it at the end, we do not. We beat them 141 to 126. Uh, we have an eighth seed awaiting us in the next round. So I have a good feeling that we can maybe take care of the Mavericks, but you never really know of course we got to beat the warriors first before we can do that and uh very very close game actually as close as it could be 88 to 86 uh please go score there we go take the lead back and forth game so far 90 91 90 93 if we get out of this we're going around two to play an eighth seed i'd feel really good about our chances we're starting to run away with it a little bit seven point lead uh they might cut it back though and we are going to 
beat the Warriors. Yes, 97 to 101. We're on to the second round. The Thunder get taken care of by the Mavericks in four. So the Mavericks still could be really good. Ave seeds can be scary, as we all know. Uh, Luca, Kyrie, Tim Hardaway, Miles Bridges, James Wiseman, Jaden Hardy, Josh Green, Grant Williams, Donovan Klingon, Dwight Powell. They have a really good team. They have a really good team. So anything is possible here. I won't rule out the Mavericks that they could beat us. Game one, of course, this is also kind of a rivalry in a way. Luca and uh, Book, not very fond of each other. Seems like game one. One is your start, though. Blew them out in game one. Game two, they even it up. Game three, we need to win on their home floor at least once, and we are not going to do it in game three. I cannot afford, I feel like, to go down uh, three to one to uh, the Mavericks. So let's even come out here and win this pivotal game four to make sure we tie the series, win one at their house. And so far, it's looking decent for us. As long as we don't blow it at the end, it looks like we got it. We did. 148 to 121. Huge. Once again, game five. Another huge game five. They want to put Richardson or put Little back in the starting five. I guess we're just going to keep shaking that up. That's fine. Here we go. Pivotal game five. We had the lead for a second. We take it back. And now we just need to keep it. They take it back. We take it back. Can we keep the lead though? And we are going to beat them 110 and 115 to hopefully put them away in six games here. Going to Dallas to see if we can do just that. If not, we go to a game seven in Phoenix. And so far, the Mavericks look like they have our number here. So they actually blew us out pretty badly for this game six. So game seven is going to be huge. We have the Nuggets awaiting us if we get past the Mavericks here. So pivotal very pivotal so here we go for this game seven let's see if we can come out here and win this one and go to the conference finals for a second year in a row it's looking good so far a very very close game down the stretch 110 111 wow back and forth this is as back and forth as it can get um so far it looks like we can run away with this at the very end can we do it can we do it and we are going to beat the mavericks in seven games to get to the conference finals and now we play the denver nuggets so of course, Jamal Murray, KCP, Michael Porter, Aaron Gordon, and Jokic, this team a couple years ago beat us, and I believe it was, was it round? Yeah, round two. Peyton Watson, of course, someone who's stepping up for them. Zeke Naji, Obi Toppin is an addition for them, so here goes nothing. Game one, 1-0 one start. They do have home court advantage. We win on their floor. Game two, they even it up. Game three, we're up 2-1. to one. Game four, 3-1 to one look really good right now, and it's going to another game five another game six bro we've gone to too many game sevens i feel like but here's another one huge game six in denver if we can win it we go back to phoenix for a game seven we have the lead right now that doesn't mean anything if we blow it and we are going to beat them in game six uh nasir little is hurt uh so i guess if we got a court kispert we'll finally start it looks like so game six in phoenix let's not go to another game seven it's looking like we're about to unless we take the lead back here which we're getting close and yeah we're going to another wait a minute never mind maybe we're not one not oh wait a minute can we take the lead back at the end no we're going to another game seven so that's three game sevens in a row bro uh or sorry we beat the warriors in six but still it's been really close each and every time so game seven injuries are kind of there but Nasir little is green now so he should be fine game seven in denver we can win this we've, we've won in denver before in this series let's come out here and try to beat them for this game seven and it's not looking good for us ladies and gentlemen it's looking like we're going home in this game seven so that's awesome uh do we run it back another season i think we go ahead and run it back another season man that is pretty unfortunate so i'm gonna keep the team the same i'll run it back one more year but i have a feeling with how old our roster is that we're probably going to not do as good as next year or as we did this year but we'll give it a shot so of course we ran it back one more season and i went ahead and turned injuries off for this final season as well to give us the best potential of maybe winning a championship to end things off here so here were your player stats to end off the season we're also going to go ahead and uh, shrink this down to an eight man rotation give ourselves the best chance possible to try to win a championship here so we get denver in round one who eliminated us last year so Somebody current round against Denver, and uh, they are going to go up three to one on us. So it's not looking like we're. Oh, I meant to click Simcast, but so we're not winning a championship in today's video, unfortunately. Let's go on to see who wins a championship. So we got uh, the Knicks and the Thunder. Uh, Knicks have Scotty Barnes now. Interesting. And you're going to have the Knicks going to win the championship. So that will be your son's rebuild. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot get a championship with them. We got really close twice, like super close. Didn't even get to the finals today. Fell short in the conference finals twice. Really unfortunate. I think we did a decent job for the, you know, the assets that we had. But I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. Of course, a Blazers rebuild is on the horizon. I'm trying to wait as long as possible to see if a Drew Holiday trade comes. 
Knowing my luck, though, uh, it won't come to tomorrow. Then I'll record the Blazers video. And as soon as I post it, the trade will go down. And then, yeah, so it'll just kill the shelf life of that video. But regardless, see y'all in the next one. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.